go readings this is Garth RS the tireless adventurer I just hit my head on my chandelier yes I did bonk 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 that's how your mother tells you never to jump on the bed because bonk you hit your head on the chandelier forget your name pee your pants it's nasty and it's beginning to look like um, he may have reinstated the light goes through stairs, because that's stairs right there. But I got this weird line of light going on. Okay, okay. Remember all the wacky adventures we've been on? All, all the all the fun that we've had spelunking in caves, which, by the way, cost me an entire set of iron armor. I went back in after a couple days, actually a couple hours after you and I last spoke. And finished out a few of the little uh, alcoves, I guess, that were left. And there were a few more than I thought. But uh, over and all, it was probably about maybe a stack and a half worth of uh, torches. So, all in all, fairly, uh, fairly eventful. Now, I would like you to note this right here. And there is a very specific reason for this. I'm going to test my mob grinder's capabilities here in just a few short moments um, but first let me show you around what the future plans that I have okay now I have a hostile mob spawner and what I need is a passive mob spawner we have several options and I'm gonna let you guys help me out with this now I have no intention whatsoever of going to the length that Etho went to God bless his soul but he took a hoe to all the grass in the world pretty much for as far as the eye could see around his cribbage um, which showed a great deal of dedication and awesomeosity uh, I however my awesomeosity tank is about half full which means you're gonna get like the general area right here uh, but then it's gonna make sure nothing else is lit and I'm only gonna farm passive mobs during the night and hostile mobs during the day that way, I don't have to spend seven hours tilling the earth of anything green. Uh, and I think that pretty much does it. Like, even looking around here, I see... Uh, one sheep. And that's pretty much it. So... I know it's like outside of 32 squares, there's a pretty good chance it'll, it'll despawn on you. So, booyakasha. There you go. So all I gotta do is make sure I'm within 26 to 32 of a passive spawning floor, which I'm thinking about either putting up there or surrounding the cribbage in like a circle area, like going out 32 and then putting the fence up all the way around going out 32 from every every direction and then just filling it all in with grass and having like uh, water channels that run it into here or building it up above um, and lighting the rooftop up a little bit more okay so night falls which is perfect I'm gonna come down here all the way to the base actually I'm gonna sleep boop boop I'm sleeping now Look at me, I'm laying down. Hello, how are you doing? I'm having a seizure. Oh, never mind, I'm back. Okay, now, we're going to go too hard, even though your difficulty doesn't affect your spawn rate. And we're going to run downstairs. And I'm going to do something I don't do unless I have to. And that is I'm going to hit the F3 button. Bagoosh. Now, you guys can't really see it because YouTube doesn't let you see tiny numbers. But I'm looking at about... 25 mobs, give or take. Now if I look around me, uh, there's one over there. There seems to be all the stuff in the general area. Spider dies. They, they tend to float up on the lava a little bit, which means sometimes the string gets burnt, sometimes it doesn't. This is going to get loud in a second. Let me, let me turn this down just to skoosh on the 18 the 18 of your the music is going to 13 
of your that that wasn't nearly as funny as the 18 of your god bless America and then we just watch them run amok with their muck running and we'll see what I can get here in about maybe a two or three minute time span but like I said like so my plan is to have the um, passive mob spawner deliver right here and then everything just get mowed to the same exact spot for right now because I don't necessarily need um, any wool now that you can make wool with string and I've got I'll show you what I got downstairs man this is like really super loud I don't like it I don't like it at all I tell you put it down even further Look at like eight okay yeah see so there we go um that's not like an incredible output there but give an example um, I went watching a movie last night or night yeah night before last or last night one of the two and uh, just I left myself sitting here and I forgot that I was actually sitting here got interested in the movie and I came back in this row and this row and this row were full so it was, it was not too bad of a haul. Um, give you an example. Feathers. Bones. Thread. Or string, I guess. And then uh, creeper poop. And then, of course, come over here in the tiny chest next to the... Next to the tool chest, and you see all my arrows. Oh, I think I have to sneeze, but I don't know for sure, because I get that little tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Yeah, but see, it's a pretty nice little, it's a pretty nice little function. I still got probably got ten or fifteen down there. Looks like I got something down there in the in the tunnels, right, right underneath the uh, the thing. So let me grab this, put that there, and oh, I'm hitting cap locks instead of strafe left. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring a. Uh, sword down because I know what it is so down here yep I don't know what is allowing them to spawn down here I mean I guess I got a couple of dark spots but not too many I guess I don't know maybe in the corners or something who knows either way um that's pretty much it. I mean, I got this stuff pretty well lit, and uh, I went down with a couple of, actually about five or six picks the other day, and cleared out a whole lot of resources, just to give you an idea. Uh, so I'm pretty much done resource gathering for a while, and, and my goal is to uh, start a couple of build projects. Uh, you don't want to look in there. That's not what I wanted to show you. This is what I want to show you. I got, let's see, three stacks of 64 and a stack 18, stack 50 gold, looks to be like 492 million coal, some lapis lazuli, and seven flint. Okay. Okay. So that's how we do. Oh, I want to pick you up. Get in my bucket. But uh, yeah, now I'm going to start a build project, and uh, I'm going to let you guys decide. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to let you decide. I think I pretty much already decided. I'm going to put it up above the roof. There's a rooftop. And it's going to be a fairly small one. Uh, but that should do it. That should do it. Look at all that business. Look at that. You just look at it. Look at it. Love it in its face. Oh. Oh, snuggity. Creeper poop. Creeper poop. Hello, bones and arrows and stuff. Not too shabby. Not too shabby little hall. I mean, you know, in the... It's, it's, it's annoying as I'll get out because all that blam, 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 blam. Oh, and I know you guys were probably laughing your butt off of that little fire clip that I had the other day. Um, but what had happened was around here I had fence. And when one of the spiders came up here and got burnified, let's see how that fire shoots up. Boom, his fence caught on fire, which set this floor on fire, which pretty much burned everything almost to the ground. I mean, this whole corner was missing. This whole side was missing. Of course, the only thing left was the bed. I don't know why the bed didn't catch on fire. Probably because I dropped the water right here and part of the bed was touching the water. But man, oh man, fire was everywhere. Okay, 
So I'm gonna go start the, the little mini layout up her somewhere and we'll see uh, we'll see how that goes. And I might uh, I might put it on peaceful just so I don't have to listen to the screaming monster death down here. Because that is annoying. Scrag, 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 blah, blah, squeak, 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 blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Look at that fire coming all the way up. I wonder if it's going to burn me. Come on, fool. Bring it. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. Oh, my goodness. Did you guys hear that? I am a total awesome pants. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Peace, love. And all that other tippy stuff. Okay, I'm back. Or as Doc M 77 would say, Alright, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the basic layout of the passive mob bus bomber. I'm going to do things just a skosh different than other people because, well, first of all, I have stability issues, and, well, that pretty much covers it all. I mean, um, this will look a slightly different. All these little 6x6s six will be two tall instead of one tall. Uh, I don't plan on filling them in. I'm going to drop uh, a torch or two on the inside of each one of them just to keep the dark spots away, and I'm going to make shells. That should save me a lot of dirt. And then probably a boot, let's see, because of the way I designed this, uh, I didn't really think about needing the dead zone free spaces, so i got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Uh, but that's a little progress for you, a little progress, 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 yeah, this, this took uh, quite a bit of stone. To make, just give you an example of where it is. This is my cribbage, and this is my upstairs. Okay. This ladder's gonna be moved. Okay. 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 Be back in a minute. Okay. Two things. Uh, almost out of dirt, and I'm gonna need grass. So while I'm digging up some dirt, I made this. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, uh, which carries the grass, carries the grass, carries the grass all the way up. Okay, so by the time I get done digging, that grass should be all the way to the top, and then once I get grass up there, that's all I really need. And, and all this dirt down here is going to get replaced. Been thinking about it. I got all that coal. Hmm, I'll make myself a nice little uh, wooden and smooth stone uh, garden type thing out here. I think that would be kind of cool. And if I wanted to, I could even go with the half steps, because if you use half steps, uh, mobs won't spawn on it. So that's kind of like two birds with one stone. Getting rid of a spawnable footprint, and on top of that, um, I got all kinds of dirt. Oh yeah, dirt, mm, dirt, mm, dirt, mm, dirt, mm, dirt, mm, dirt. What's up? Say hello to YouTube. Hey, you do. Yep, so uh, once I get done here, I will uh, get you up to date. Have a great day. Okay. Um, yeah, things aren't going as I planned. Well, first of all, this is what I'm doing. Just drop a torch in the bottom there. Keep it light enough for uh, spiders not to spawn. And, uh,. That's how you do the rest of that. So what I gotta do now is show you guys what I learned about my grass. Do 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 do. Okay. Boop. It's taking just a little bit. Uh but it's slowly growing, and not very quickly at all. So I'm probably going to have to find a, a better way to do that. Because if I place 
dirt block down on the grass, I mean it turns to grass in like a like 15, 20 seconds. So obviously I'm doing something wrong. So I gotta go back in there and figure that out. I just want to give you guys a little update and uh, be back in a minute. Okay, I gotta work this out a different way because that is not working. So I'll be back in a minute once I figure this crap out. Go retanks! This is Garth RS, the tireless adventurer. Okay, a uh, little bit of a recap. I know it's uh, probably still in the middle of the old episode, but I've been gone for so long that I felt I needed to uh, do the greeting over again. Uh, for the record, um, I started my little spiral from this spot. It went up and 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 I started that last night probably about six maybe seven six or seven you stand by okay I'm back it is grassed there was a little spiral dealy going up here up to here and then across to here and then once it got up here it took like probably eight hours to get up there and then it took another probably three hours to uh, go all the way across and I had like little connector bridges here uh, I decided to go ahead and do the three deep thing like uh, like ethos does because it's sheer brilliance um, but I did kind of swibbity swappy this up a little bit um, on the canals. I kind of used his uh, his dungeon design, so that works out really well for that. Mm, and then I used four signs and then placed four signs on top of the thing. So this is kind of like the thing that does the thing, the thing. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I currently do have it on peaceful for the sheer purpose of testing this. And then right here I have my entry and exit and I have a bunch of pigs down here. Let's see what I can do with this. A poke. Oh, just one little poke and they're dead. So the fall damage is enough. Boop, boop, almost. Scoogly, googly. Okay. On the underside of here I plan on incorporating a little bit of the uh, the whole uh, sort thing. I have my own ideals. I want to I give it a shot. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have sheep uh, drop up here with wolves and then pigs are going to go pigs and, and cattle are going to go down here. Oh, I can't even go up a ladder right now. Pigs are gonna go. Pigs and cattle are gonna go down here and get cooked. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is taking like for freaking ever. Um, uh, you're gonna watch probably about 20 or 30 minutes of video that is going to represent probably uh, 48 hours of my life. So, and for a majority of that, um, Minecraft was running. Just letting that grass grow. Letting that grass grow. Boom, stickity, boom. And I still got a whole bunch of grass to get rid of on the outside. On the outside. On the outside. Just like that. Mm, gosh, that was just epic in its epicness. I'm going to put you right there. Mm, God, freaking perfect. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Creeper. Okay, uh, on the outside, actually, let me go ahead and just do this. So I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep. Bleep. Okay, anyway, out here you see there's a creeper, 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 creeper. Uh, I really want these guys to go away so I can go outside. Uh, I did a little bit of grass removal, but not much. Hey, creepy creeper. Yeah, they're all over the place out there. Mmm, I love hard. It's so much fun. But, uh... Okay. So you can see what I did out here. I got rid of some of the grass. 
Uh, still gotta get rid of that grass over there. Over there. Look at that. Look at that. It's like, oh, he sees me. He's like, oh, dude, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna get you. And I'm like, no, you're not. I'm running. Run like the wind. And uh, that's how you win the day, right there. Uh huh. That's how you win the day. Where you at? Where are you at? Okay. So anyway, yeah, that's the basics. Uh, and now that I've actually got this thing done up top here, I'm thinking about maybe scrapping the crib and in building something massive to incorporate this as a ceiling. Mm, what do you think of that? How awesome would that be? Hello, piggy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. 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 Hey, heart you, piggy. Mmm. Yeah, this is pretty handy. Um, so there you go. And that's how we do that. That is how we do. Okay, peoples. I have 62 dirt blocks, and I'm going to point this to the sky and say, I love mine.